Barça Femini have been relentless again this season. League winners with a perfect 30 wins from 30, an average of over five goals scored per game and a third Champions League final of their history. With so much success, how do the team keep motivation levels up? Every training you see it's like really, really tough and everyone want to win every little part of the training and if we have a, a weaker opponent it could be goal that we have to score an amount of goals like so. I like that because that makes us work even harder. Fans are really responding to this incredulous level of high performance too. Pues molt, obviament, al final nosaltres venim de no fa molt jugar en, un, en una ciutat esportiva on quasi quasi no venia gent i, i al final que ara hi hagi tanta gent il·lusionada i emocionada amb nosaltres pues, pues és preciós, crec que ens dona ànims, ens dona força i hem d'aprofitar aquest moviment social per, pues, per seguir enganxant a la gent i que cada cop siguin més. That social movement has huge momentum behind it this year, which perhaps reached a climax when the team set a new world record for the highest attendance at an official women's football match. Not once, but twice this year. I was actually surprised seeing how everything was here when I came here, especially the two sold out Camp Nou's. It was really, really cool for me and I was not expecting that. Uh, but now you see that it's possible. The social movement has seeped into wider society too, not only on the stands at games. Easter in Catalonia always features specially decorated cakes called Mones de Pascua, which often feature some of the most popular characters or personalities of the year, including footballers. Where once Lionel Messi was king, now Alexia Puteas, winner of the Ballon d'Or last year, reigns. Però que ha arribat amb una força tremenda, que és la pilota d'or de l'Alexia del Barça, no? Hem canviat el Messi per l'Alexia. Sap greu dir-ho, però <laughs> estem contents també de, de que aquest, aquest, eh, aquest mite que tants anys va estar amb nosaltres doncs l'hem canviat per una altra del Barça i a més a més és una dona, no? More and more people are watching Barça Femini games, but as well as that, more and more are now travelling to them too. Despite losing the Champions League final 3-1 to Lyon, the day will be remembered forever as 15,000 fans travelled to Italy to support the team. Additionally, over 2,500 fans packed into Plaza Catalunya in Barcelona, where, for the first time ever, a giant screen was set up in the city centre to show a women's football match. Yeah, but it's something amazing, you know, you, I love, I'm getting motivated by seeing people in the stands that they are cheering, it gives me even more energy. Goalkeeper Sandra Panos feels that the team's achievements are all for the fans, and that the success the team has enjoyed would be impossible without them. Siempre agradecer a toda la gente que, que nos está apoyando porque creo que, que ellos también, eh, evidentemente sin ellos es imposible ¿no? que se llenen los estadios, eh, que nos encanta que vengan, que nos animen, que, que podamos disfrutar de, de, de ellos porque al final jugar al fútbol es para, para la afición. The team have broken records on and off the pitch and are creating a special bond with the fans that have fallen in love with them over the past couple of years. Leon showed them that despite all the success so far, Barça Femini still have further challenges ahead, but also the fans have shown them that they will be there to accompany them on that journey.